Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Report: Obama's proudest legacy shredded to bits by what just came out in new report. While unhinged celebrities and the leftist mainstream media is busy attacking President Donald Trump because people decide to put their children at risk in order to get into this country illegally, there is one important fact that they seem to have forgotten. A newly released Senate report is now confirming that the Obama policy of catch and release put the kids in danger by placing some right into the hands of human traffickers, never to be seen again. Since the policy was, in fact, a de facto amnesty, they would never show up for their deportation hearings that were scheduled months in advance. 100% fed up reports. While everyone on the left is screaming about the illegal alien children being put into detention centers, it's important to remember that the Obama policy of catch and release put the kids in danger by placing some into the hands of human traffickers. A Senate report detailed the problem with releasing kids to a so-called sponsor who hadn't been checked into at all. The policy was basically a de facto amnesty once the kids were released because they just wouldn't show up for their deportation hearing that could be scheduled for months away. The kids would basically disappear into whatever town they settled in. The United States government placed an unknown number of Central American migrant children into the custody of human traffickers after neglecting to run the most basic checks on these so-called caregivers, according to a Senate report. In the fall of 2013, tens of thousands of unaccompanied minors traveled to the U.S. southern border. At least six of those children were eventually resettled on an egg farm in Marion, Ohio where their sponsors forced them to work 12 hours a day under threats of D.H. Local law enforcement uncovered the operation last year, prompting the Senate's Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations to open an inquiry into the federal government's handling of the thousands of Central American children sent on the perilous journey by themselves. It is intolerable that human trafficking, modern-day slavery, could occur in our own backyard, Senator Rob Portman, Republican of Ohio and the chairman of the subcommittee told The New York Times. But what makes the Marion cases even more alarming is that a government agency was responsible for delivering some of the victims into the hands of their abusers. As detention centers became incapable of housing the massive influx of migrants, the Department of Health and Human Services started placing children into the care of sponsors who would oversee the minors until their bids for refugee status could be reviewed. But in many cases, officials failed to confirm whether the adults volunteering for this task were actually relatives or good Samaritans, and not unscrupulous egg farmers or child molesters. The department performed check-in visits at caretakers' homes in only 5% of cases between 2013 and 2015, according to the report. The Senate's investigation built on an Associated Press report that found more than two dozen unaccompanied children were placed in homes where they were sexually abused, starved, or forced into slave labor. HHS claimed that it lacked the funds and authorities that a more rigorous screening process would have required. First, the government stopped fingerprinting most adults seeking to claim the children. In April 2014, the agency stopped requiring original copies of birth certificates to prove most sponsors' identities. The next month, it decided not to complete forms that request sponsors' personal and identifying information before sending many of the children to sponsors' homes. Then, it eliminated FBI criminal history checks for many sponsors. However, the investigation also found that HHS did not spend all of the money allocated to it for handling the problem. The agency placed 90,000 migrant children into sponsor care between 2013 and 2015. Exactly how many of those fell prey to traffickers is unknown, because the agency does not keep records. The Senate's investigation found that in 2014 over two dozen unaccompanied minors were sent to homes where they were sexually abused starved, or forced into slave labor. And in many cases all of the above. While Health and Human Services which is responsible for these minors whines that it lacked the funds and authorities that a more rigorous screening process would have required. We already know the talking points and defenses from government agencies, whenever they screw up it's because the already overburdened taxpayer didn't pay enough, while the private sector always does it better and cheaper than the lazy government worker. The easiest way to avoid any issue whatsoever with these kids is simple. Just don't let them in, Mexico can take them. The world is not our problem anymore, we're broke. We have enough issues here in the US with all the tent cities which have popped up in major cities to have to be taking in addition problems. The rest of the world will have to step up, send some to Germany, Great Britain, and even the Vatican, who most likely hoard enough money to take care of most of the world's poor and destitute population. Don't you agree? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.